when I did my unboxing video of Cletus and Mega Rex, Dombro asked me, did you find Man of Steel yet? He found that and Cletus at Target. I responded and said, I didn't even know it was a new design. Thanks for letting me know. When I'm flipping through the pegs, the unique castings are easier for me to recognize. NEA, first time using this design, maybe we'll be seeing a Doomsday Edition in the future, who knows. Cletus, this was a little harder for me to recognize on the pegs because it, it, it looks like it shares a body casting with the other models. It's not a unique truck as far as the design itself. Mega Regs, brand new model. Yeah, this one's unique. Very cool. And I showed that the tail lifted up in the review, but actually this whole thing pops out. It's just a soft piece of rubber. Pop it right back in. But when Superman, when I seen Superman on the pegs, I was thinking, I already got Superman. I don't need another Superman. And I don't, gen I don't need to have it if it's a new wheel style. You know, I really look for something unique that I don't have already. I had no, I didn't even notice that it was a new design. They call it the Man of Steel. Check out this old Monster Jam Superman pack. It's 2004 collector number 39. It's, it's the same. Yeah, there's been some versions with chrome wheels. There's been Spectre Flame, but pretty much the design, as far as I know, didn't change. So when I seen when I seen this on the pegs, it just didn't even dawn on me that it was a new design. Since I have this old pack out, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Maybe there's some uh, older Monster Jam vehicles that you have in your collection. Or maybe some uh, guys when you're younger, maybe you had some you were playing with. Or maybe you inherited some of uh, a relative's Monster Jam trucks. I have some of these that I've picked up on the side. I definitely, this one's a cool truck here. I'll be getting more in the future. You can see he has the little dude in the pack. So this is one of the last remaining models to be released from the 2014 model series. Because 2015, they're using those, uh, they got those battle slam attachments or something. I forgot what the name was. Hey, it's got a red roof too. Superman on the hood. Different design though. Red roof, still have a cape. This one had Superman on the cape. Just a yellow though. Let me take off this rubber band. I don't remember if I tried to pop this off before or not. This is on here pretty good. I wonder if this comes off easy. If it has a rubber band or do they... Oh yeah, real easy. Just pop right off. I'll let you have a look at the Man of Steel. It says right here, Man of Steel. And there's the Hot Wheels logo, Monster Jam. Monster Jam. Yeah, Monster Jam logo. Yeah, with this new version, it looks like Mattel might have made the assembly easier. This just pops right on and off. It has these clips right here. They just hook into the roll cage in the back. Very easy. You might lose that, so keep an eye on that. With the older version, the back popped up. You can get it to pop up, but it stays attached to the truck. See that? It stays attached to the truck. This part here goes under the hood, and it's all it's all together on the inside. You can't take it apart. This was uh, this is probably better built, but now with Mattel, they're trying to make things uh, uh, as quickly as possible and make the production process as simple as possible. So now they just make this cape to where it pops on and off. So maybe you want to be Superman and then you uh, change to Clark Kent. Take off your cape. Except you got your big uh, symbol and everybody knows. Like I said, there's the Man of Steel logo on the truck. Have a look at the back. Man of Steel. The other version had Superman. And of course, uh, I'm pretty sure most Monster Jam trucks look the same on the left and the right sides. Now, the old version had the Superman logo on the cape as well. New version, nothing. No tempo, not at all. Take a look at the front grille. Now, this is a new... This The body casting is different. Now, I, I don't have a bunch of Superman trucks to pull out to know when they change this. But this new version, it has a uh, has more of a square front. right? You see how this is almost straight up and down? Whereas the older version, 
it's a more aerodynamic it has an angle right here so they did change the body casting and uh, red roof on the new version so chrome wheels it's a little bit of a darker blue this is a little bit of a darker red it's not as a uh, it's not as bright red as the older version no tampo so there's some changes here and there but still <laughs> Even with all those little changes, I did not recognize it to be a new truck, a new man of steel truck. So I'll pick it up because I like to get new paint styles <clears throat> or new castings. That's what I like to pick up. But even if they were exactly the same, if you want to buy more than one, that's up to you. You know this uh, Mega Rex truck, I'll be picking up extras of him because I do the downhill racing. And you know how they get messed up sometimes on the track. So if you want to buy uh, two, maybe you want one in the package, maybe you want one loose, that's up to you. It's up to you to buy what you can afford or whatever you want to collect. If you want three, you buy three. It's, it's your money. It's up to you, all right? Superman, Man of Steel. There'll be more links down in the description if you'd like to see some of my other, some of my other Monster Jam videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.